Hey guys, it's Latrice and Nia with Mommy and Me Critique and today we are coming to you to talk about Slutty Vegan. <laughs> so, I don't know if somebody can say Slutty Vegan, so you say SV. <laughs> We, of course, Slutty Vegan is one, a vegan restaurant, black owned vegan restaurant that is world renowned. Um, I want to say world renowned. I don't know if it is for, or not, but I know I've heard many, many, many good things about Slutty Vegan um, that I had to go next time I was in Atlanta. And so, of course, we, when we, I found out that one of her competitions was going to be in Atlanta. It is snowing. Um, I made sure that that was on our agenda. So, we went to Slow the Vegan. They have two locations, and come to find out, the location we visited or we went to was the original location of Slow the Vegan. So, that was like, I, I was in awe of that as well. Um, how'd you, what do you think about it? the location? Yeah. It was packed. I sat in the car <laughs> until she yeah. got to the front of the line. Yeah. So, shout out to my frat there. brother that came. I, f I met my frat brother for the first time. Um, and so, shout out to Philip that came and stood in line with me. And we actually got to meet each other face to face. Um, because if it wasn't for him, I'd be sitting in the line by myself. So, thank you, Philip. Because this one left me. It's too cold out there for that. Nobody told you not to bring a coat. I didn't have to freeze myself off. <laughs> I was it was too much. She didn't bring her coat and I told her to bring a coat. I didn't know we were gonna be standing out in lines. Nobody ever told time. me about that. It's the one time. I thought we were just gonna be walking. But no. <laughs> so the the neighborhood itself, it looked like it was a, a, a older neighborhood. It actually had some cool buildings around it um it had some murals around there that were uh celebrating black culture and uh su supporting black businesses um so i thought that was very refreshing that we were in an environment where we saw ourselves on the billboards not like northwest arkansas where we see the opposite <laughs> of what we see in atlanta so i thought that was very refreshing um the line was long like she said the line was wrapped around the building so if you go to slutty vegan um make sure you have time to stand in the line um what you get they do play some nice music so i mean it was it was nice waiting music and you actually jamming and having a conversation outside the place but the line is long the reason why the line is long though you walk in there's this one person that's standing at the beginning of the restaurant. Um, you walk in, you give that person your order, you walk down the aisle, and at the end of the aisle is where you pick your order up and you walk out the door. There's no seating whatsoever. No seating. You walk in, you give your order, you walk out. So, um, I didn't know that. <laughs> and I thought there was going to be a place where you could sit down and talk and conversate or at least some outdoor seating somewhere. Nope, there, there was nothing. You get your food and you go. <laughs> so, what did you get, Nia? I got the... Oh, from the Slutty Vegan, I got the uh, One Night Stand... It was like it had a it was a vegan burger and it had vegan bacon and like everything was vegan obviously and it was really good like not my favorite burger it because it was off like it didn't taste like meat but obviously it wasn't meat. Did it taste like beans? No, I couldn't really put my finger on what it tasted like. The bacon was okay, but it still didn't taste like bacon. That hurt my heart. Did it taste like? Was it crispy like bacon? Mm mm. It was like soft. Oh, it was weird. So, um, I didn't get a picture of Nia's. I forgot Nia's burger because somebody decided to chow down as soon as we I got was in the car. <laughs> so I was like, so much for that picture. Um, but I got the Menage a Trois. Um, so all of the burgers are named after 
sexual activities. Um, <laughs> and so if you're not comfortable saying those type of things, or if you're not comfortable having your kids say those type, type of things, you might want to order for them and leave them in the car or something like that because, um, yeah, it, that's what their name. So I got the menage a trois, which was a vegan burger with uh, shrimp on it. On, fried shrimp vegan shrimp of course um i think it was a mushroom fried mushrooms it, it the texture was really weird what are you looking like this? what is a menage a trois uh the texture was <laughs> weird <laughs> i'm so confused on <laughs> on um yeah so <laughs> the texture was weird as far as uh, sh the shrimp was um it still had a really flavorful flavor to it i enjoyed it like i would actually go back and see if i could just get the shrimp by itself as like an appetizer or something like that or if i could add order extra shrimp uh it was really good i think it was a mushroom or something like that but i don't know what it was it was good the texture was weird but i'll still eat it the burger itself did not taste like a bean burger at all i was so thinking that i was gonna go in there and get this vegan burger that it basically tastes like bean patties like you do for the frozen burgers in the store did not taste like that at all i ate the entire burger and that's rare for me the burger was a really good size like it was about this big Sick. and Just i like ate me. the entire no, burger but get this i did not feel full like it didn't fill you up like you were eating meat you didn't get the meat sweats and the itis afterwards it was awesome like i felt i felt ate enough i ate all the burger and i ate some of the fries and i felt like i ate enough to actually feel good and feel full but i didn't feel like i needed to go take a nap like i, I was re-energized and ready for the rest of the day i was so hungry but the fries the fries were really good they're like all seasoned and crispy and stuff yeah. and i guess fries are technically vegan so they didn't taste weird yeah they're they were nice. like wedges I think so. They, they were kind of thick cut fries. They were really seasoned really nicely. Wedges was out the skin though. Yeah, yeah. they were uh, crispy. Um, and so I thought I enjoyed that, that they were crispy. But I don't like thick cut fries. So I didn't eat too many of them because it's more potato-y. And I'm not too much of a potato girl. Unless it's thinly cut fries. Or chips. Don't, don't, don't do me. <laughs> Anyways, um, did we get a drink? No. I we got, we got pie though. We did get sweet potato pies afterwards. I was going to get to that, but oh. I was trying to make sure we didn't get a drink. I don't think they had drinks. No, I don't think they did. Or did they? No. I don't know. I'm learning new things. So I saw that they sell their seasoning. Um, somebody commented under our first our picture and said that they sell seasoning. So I need to go look that up because I want some of the seasoning. Um, and then they did have sweet potato, uh, vegan sweet potato pies, little small or uh, Too small. personal Too small. sweet potato pies. And we got two of those. Um, I think they were decent. They were a nice size for a personal pie I'm like you can't change the pan that's the size that they come in uh, I enjoyed it it was it was light it wasn't like you didn't it didn't have a lot of sugar in it it didn't have a lot of butter and stuff like that it was still kind of a light pie and so I enjoyed that I I liked all of it I like the texture of it it wasn't like super heavy obviously but then it was still like heavy enough to make you a Mmm, that's good. And then the crust, well, I'm not a fan of pie crust, but I ate it anyways because it wasn't actually that bad. Like, I like the outer crust. I like the inside crust when it's all moist and not dry. You don't like the crispy stuff? No. Oh. Yeah, the pie, I don't know, was it, I guess it was a vegan sweet potato pie. So it probably didn't have eggs in it. That's probably why it was a lighter texture than a normal pie because an egg is something that really solidifies it. So they probably use an egg substitute or something to substitute to make the pie gel together, which and then turns to change the texture of the pie. The pie still tastes like sweet potato pie. It still had a sweetness to it. It didn't have any weird taste or aftertaste to it. Like um, everything else. So uh, everything else didn't have aftertaste. Not an aftertaste, but a weird taste. Oh. 
it was good enough for me uh especially now that my little i'm on my gluten-free dairy-free journey i really appreciate it slutty vegan and i wish we had more options like that here because everything here is fried this deep fried that and i'm like oh my god we are truly <laughs> and we wonder why oh. So you just gonna change the song? No. That's ain't Alabama. That's not Arkansas. <laughs> so, um, what else? What else? Is there anything else? I think that's it. We got food, dessert, lines. Oh, they made shout outs. Oh, yeah, they did. The server, or not the server, the woman who was taking our orders, she was, like, making shout-outs. Like, for us, she was like, we've got two virgins in here. And that was funny. Proud. Say my kid. I'm a virgin. <laughs> right. Right. Jane's a virgin, everybody. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And the music was jamming. And then the cooks, they actually interact with us, too. They were, like, flirting with us. And, like, Oh, maybe it's just flirting with me. <laughs> now, wait a day. But they were, like, interacting with us and, like, hey, yeah. And, like, when we were standing outside, yeah. And when we were standing outside, obviously, she was in the car. So, when we were standing outside, you could see the cooks cooking. There, there was a window there. And so, like, you were looking at them cooking and they will like, flash some food at you or point at you and start dancing with you. So, it was a fun experience, like, the whole time. I would advise you go in warmer weather or at least wrap up because you're going to be standing outside for most of the time. It was a fun experience. in the car. But then uh, it's really just like an in and out, like a sandwich shop. You in and out, you go to the front, order your food, get to the end of, end of the line, and walking out the door. <laughs> and that's, and that's it. it. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you give Slutty Vegan? 7. The textures were just weird for me. I couldn't do it. And normally, I don't mind the texture of things, but yeah, well, they're right. I'm sorry. On a scale of one to ten, meat eaters over here. I give Slutty Vegan a ten. I'm going back every time I go to Atlanta. If they ship patties, I'm gonna sit there and try to order some offline. Yeah. So yeah. I love Slutty Vegan, and I will go back every time I can until they decide to branch out to other states. <laughs> so, with that being said, don't forget to... Are we going to have another ready before Valentine's Day? No, Valentine's Day is this weekend. Ain't want to be my Valentine's? <laughs> she ain't no boyfriends. Ignore her. No boyfriends. Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on all our social medias, which would be YouTube. Don't <laughs> look the other way again. We, we can do this. YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. <laughs> Stop! I can see you looking at me. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. Peace.